there guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my most recent trade, what I traded, and uh, we're going to get into some detail on the bike I traded for. So I'm going to throw some pictures up on the screen of the sled I traded for this bike. It was a late 90s Skidoo. It was a Racer's Edge build, so it was an uh, old mod sled. It was fully built back in the day. It needed some work. I think it was a pretty good trade. So I'll show you that guys those pictures and then we'll get right into a little walk around on this bike and what it needs. So stay tuned. So here's the bike right behind me, and like I said, it's a 2007 KX 450. The motor itself is pretty solid, it runs good. The carb could use some tuning, so we'll have to order a carb rebuild kit and do that. And then uh, the motor was actually rebuilt, I think you said like 30 hours ago. So I mean it has some use on it, but it's still plenty good for me. And then. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's not in too bad sh of shape. I already ordered new plastics for it. I'm going to black it right out, get some uh, probably black and green decals to go on those plastics. And a uh, new back tire. It's got pro taper bars on it, so those are fine. But the levers are broken, so I ordered new aftermarket levers. New aftermarket drain plug with a little magnet on it to collect any of that crap in the bottom of the engine. And then it's got some more other stuff I need, like a pipe and stuff. but. I'll give you guys a little walk around on the bike and we'll see what you think of it. The bike, it's KX450. See the engine there? There's not too much oil residue or anything on there. It's pretty clean. The are absolutely done on it. Both. Not even usable. Um, the tire appears to be on the wrong way. Look at this, guys. Look at this back tire. I mean, this back tire looks like Tyler Monaghan got a hold of it or something. You'll see that this bolt is broken off in the shaft. To get a extractor kit for this bolt and extract it, or just a new shaft and replace that shaft, so I can uh, not add this Kickstarter falling off. And the drain plug's worn out, so that's why I ordered a new one. So I just ordered an aftermarket one, because uh, it leaks a little bit of oil, but the actual threads in the case are fine. If you come around back here, the pipe actually has a big hole in it up here so that pipe is just destroyed <laughs> seat is not too bad but I want to replace it anyways I'd like to get one with like a, a black one with green stripes on top the pro taper bars are a little beat up but they'll do just fine so yeah you can see the bike it's not in too bad a shape it needs some little things I'm just gonna order new plastics new decals already have new green levers on the way green drain plug I'll probably replace these with green as well so I'll just do a bunch of green accents along with the black plastic with some green decals on there as well. And uh, maybe a little green tip here and the levers are green. So other than that, it's not too bad. The shocks are in pretty good shape. They're not shot or anything. They'll work just fine. The back tire, like I said, needs to be replaced. That's the bike. I will show you guys the sled I got. It was a 96 Skidoo Summit Racer's Edge 670. It was fully built, ported, and polished, so it had like 150, 160 horsepower, and I mean, that thing ripped, but neither the clutch has gone through, and the carb's gone through, and the hood was kind of beat up, and, you know, it, it needed a bunch of work. I'm going to fire the bike up real quick so you can hear it running, so in case you don't believe me that it runs. That's the bike. I would like your guys' opinion on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted. Sorry if the, the sun's in my eyes, so I'm, I might be squinting a little bit. <laughs>